To pee or not to pee? That is the question when it comes to preparing for a pelvic ultrasound. Have you ever wondered why sometimes we tell you to have a full bladder when you're preparing for an abdominal ultrasound, but then we want you to empty your bladder before a vaginal ultrasound? Here's the quick breakdown. So here is a side profile view of what we see when we look at your uterus under an ultrasound done abdominally, where the ultrasound is placed above the pubic bone on your abdomen. And imagine your head being here and your feet being in this direction. Here's the cervix leading to the top of the uterine cavity. And this is the view that we get when we do an embryo transfer under abdominal ultrasound guidance. The full bladder in front of the uterus actually acts like a natural window for ultrasound waves to be able to pass through so we can get a clearer view of the uterus during the abdominal ultrasound. It also helps to create the right angle when you have a uterus which is antiverted or kind of folded forward on itself. The bladder being full can help to straighten out the cervical canal and pathway, making the path to the top of the uterus easier. So if you ever have difficulty with the catheter being inserted to get to the right spot for an intrauterine insemination, IUI, or for a procedure like a saline sonogram, you may want to try having a full bladder on the next attempt because it could help. Now, here is a head-on view of the pelvic anatomy. When it comes to trying to get the clearest view of your ovaries, which actually sit quite low down on either side of the vaginal canal or cervix, a vaginal ultrasound is best. For a vaginal ultrasound, we actually want the bladder to be empty so that it's not in the way. A full bladder in front of the lower part of the uterus and the cervix can actually expand and then wrap around, pushing the adjacent ovaries actually out of view. Having an empty bladder can allow the ultrasound probe to get closer to the ovaries, giving us a sharper, more detailed view. Sometimes during morning monitoring, patients will have a full bladder because they've been waiting for a while, and I'll ask them to get dressed, go pee, and return to the exam room so that we can try again. If it's hard to visualize the ovaries, always ask the sonographer if it could help if you emptied your bladder. And always go pee when you check in for your egg retrieval because the egg retrieval is done under vaginal ultrasound guidance. When it comes to pelvic ultrasounds, bladder instructions matter. It's a simple step that can help us get the best possible look at your reproductive anatomy.